In very many cases, when a patient is told to start a drug, they are told to take this drug for life. But we now know that this is not always the case. We also know that patients are unaware. They are not aware that they can ask questions and have their drug treatment re-evaluated. We have plenty of evidence nowadays to guide when to start what drug, but we have very little evidence to support when to renegotiate or even just stop a treatment. And this is not necessarily a matter of bad pharma, it's just the way we've built the system. So we really need to create more evidence and learn how to renegotiate and stop treatment so that we can ensure that we are providing patient-centered care. The key gap in the evidence, which will probably remain unfilled for quite a while, is exactly when to stop what drug on what criteria. We're used to evidence supporting exactly when to do what, but we won't have this for this type of clinical activity. So we really need to learn how to make our way with other types of evidence and a more of a reasoning-based approach to what to do for the single patient. What the big data stuff can do, however, is to provide a helicopter perspective. Who are we prescribing what drugs to? How many are they using? For how long are they using it? Giving us the much needed insights or intel, I guess, in order to make our way around this arena to guide when to stop. I have great hopes for the future. I expect that we will be much better at not only de-prescribing, but also at general focus on more restrictive and rational use of medicines, providing much more tailored communication in terms of what are the actual benefits and risks to the individual patients and ally ourselves with patients to provide much more patient-centered care in the future.